Hi, this is Atzera16 for the Gear Game channel. And uh, today, as you may figure out from this small piece here, and that truck over there, and this cannon over here, I'll show you how to use uh, the artillery in the default version of the game. So there's no mod, because the thing is that there's many mods which have all different ways of uh, making it realistic to use artillery. But uh, the game is actually uh, offering you a way which is very simple. So uh, all you have to do is you get inside the mortar and uh, here you can see that I'm inside the mortar as a gunner of course because it's the gunner which you which choose uh, where he's shooting and uh, now that put you into that position and uh, so you're looking at the sky and you don't really know what the hell is going on and that really doesn't tell you anything about where you're shooting. So all you have to do is uh, you have to use the mouse wheel or the key on your keyboard and you go into your artillery computer. Now that puts you on that map and uh, you have two blue circle and that indicate the range in between which uh, you can fire. So example if I click here I can shoot there uh, at six uh, no well at that position and uh, it will take 12 seconds for the shell to reach it. So let's uh, shoot right there. There you go. Now you have a shell which is going this way. Let's get out just to see the result. So normally it should end up somewhere there. There you go. So that's one shell of a mortar. But now that was a at a close range, so uh, y there's three setup you can use, usually. It was a short range, and you change them like that. So you can put it medium range. So as you can see now, the blue circle is wider, and uh, the inside circle as well. <coughs> so what that means is that you will be able to shoot into that radius, and you can make it f far. And now let's see uh, how wide that is. And you can see that uh, you can shoot uh, to maybe uh, 6 or 7 kilometer away. So that's uh, pretty far. But now uh, let's get back uh, closer. I'll put me on medium. And uh, I'll click here. And now I'm firing. It will take 28 seconds to reach tar the target. And now there's a time for it to reload, so you can only fire when you it fire when the, the button fire is available actually. Okay. Now let's get out of there and check the result. It should fall a little uh, all over the place over there. Hopefully. There you go. First shell has exploded. There's another one there. Now, of course, the further the distance, the more uh, inaccurate uh, your shell will be. So that's something you need to take into cons consideration. Now, let's move to that cannon over there. Get in as a gunner. Now, as you can see, you can use a uh, direct aim like that. So, for example, if I aim like that, you need to consider the bullet drop. So, normally, I should probably hit around there. Yeah, like that. Maybe that was a little too high. Let's lower a little. Now, there's not much indication in there, but uh, you can figure it out over time. There you go. I just destroyed a couple of buildings over there. But uh, that's not really what you call artillery. That's a cannon. So you can use that against tank uh, which are close. But uh, like the mortar, you just have to switch into the artillery computer. And now you can see that there's no blue circle. So that's because artillery has a much longer range. So that means that you can only shoot in between the circles. So that means uh, you need to shoot pretty far. So, I'll shoot over there, it will take 47 seconds to reach the target, which is quite a while. 
And that takes a while to load as well. So you can see on the map uh, the lines of uh, the shell making their way toward the objective. Uh, tree shell. But uh, that's pretty far so we won't see the result of it. And uh, as you can notice here, the cannon put itself in position and just fired. So that's very easy. Now, of course, that might not be the way uh, some mods make it, but that's how the game uh, officially deal with artillery. Now, let's check that big thing here. Now, that's an MLRS uh, rocket launcher thing, which uh, is uh, pretty powerful. Now, like the cannon, you can shoot like that, but... Uh, it's very unlikely you'll hit anything. Well, let's see where that go. Essentially, it fires a rocket, and then after that, it's on its own. Now you can see that it, it exploded over there, but that's really no way to aim. So it's like the other uh, artillery system. You just have to uh, target in between the circles. So let's see. Okay, apparently I can shoot there. <coughs> so I'll shoot on the mountain uh, over there. But now that's a rocket launcher, so you can fire at uh, high speed. And of course, uh, you can see your ammo over there. I have six rockets. And let's get out of there and see what happens. Just hope I will have a visual on it. Hmm, not sure. Oh yeah, I think it exploded over there. I did not see the smoke, but uh, nope. Nope. Ah, there you go. I can see that it's exploding where I told the computer to shoot. And now the default way and the most effective way to call an artillery strike uh, if you play in multiplayer is simply to double click on your map and then uh, you have uh, this, that symbol appearing and you can write whatever you want and uh, you can also change the symbol of it you can change the color as well by holding uh, oh wait, that's not it. anyway you can uh, simply switch all that stuff and put the symbol you want and then you click enter and you have the text appearing and when somebody will go back into the computer which I will do now assuming you chose the right channel for it normally it will the guy will see where is the marker so it will be able to shoot there if you want uh, that's, uh, that's the way the game handles artillery by nature but of course as I said before there's many mods that uh, uh, deal with artillery differently but now you can also call support by AI which or virtual piece or uh, a piece of artillery you put somewhere and uh, to do that you need to use the radio so first of all so I'll activate the by a trigger the radio system which is something you need to set up uh, in your mission design and uh, what I'll do is first you click 0 then you go into communication which is 8 then you request support you request an artillery bar barrage or something else might be uh, airplanes or whatever now you can see that you have different type of ammo so you have uh, an immediate, immediate suppression with uh, the explosive rounds or smoke or uh, WP, which I'm not sure what it is. You can also uh, call for uh, continuous illumination, which means that uh, at night you will be able to have a flare which may reveal the enemy position. Laser guided munition, that's uh, ammo that will hit the position you laser with uh, the same thing as for the planes. Then you have Sense and Destroy Armor. That's actually a type of uh, rounds that scan for enemy vehicles and it will destroy anything which is in the area where you called it. 
Uh, then you have fire for effect, uh, heavy explosive, and uh, the ball UP, which I'm not sure what it is. And then you can adjust fire. But uh, let's do fire for effects. So now I just chose the type of uh, artillery I want. Hopefully. Okay. Apparently that did not work. Okay, let's try. This there you go. Alpha. Over. So now I'm calling for the artillery and I told them what kind of ammo I will need. But that doesn't mean I call them so because it's just a kind of preset. So uh, once this guy uh, is telling you, oh, we're ready, uh, request target, uh, give us the coordinates and everything, you simply go back into zero, eight, one. Now you can see that the artillery barrage is active. So I can call it. And now I'll call it. There you go. Now they are firing. They are too far for us to hear them. But uh, when they are done firing, they will tell you. It will appear in the chat down left of your screen. And no normally I call the artillery on the village down there. And now they are done shooting, but the shells are on the way. So that might take up to a minute, depending where the artillery is positioned. And while that happens, you can do whatever you want. Take a walk. See what's going on. And uh, you can scan for more target. For example, you can see that there's many infantry around there. can try to add art them. Okay, wait, there's artillery coming. Over. Okay, now that when you say splash over, that means the artillery should reach target. And there you have them. Out. And that's my character confirming to the artillery that, uh, yep, they are hitting the target. So that's fire for effect, which is a type of artillery which is a explosive mostly made for uh, anti-personal and destruction of buildings and everything now the artillery is not really something you use that much in this game because uh, it's very devastating and uh, that will kill many civilians and you don't want that because civilians are your friends so uh, that's why uh, we don't really use artillery that much but in some uh, war situation, uh, it may be very useful to have uh, some artillery, especially the one which uh, specifically target vehicles. It might destroy some civilian vehicles, but at the same time, uh, it might destroy enemy tank, which is uh, why you call them. Now you can see that uh, the artillery strike seemed to be done. There's still some smoke. And you can see that many buildings were damaged or destructed. And there's many holes all over the place. So uh, it was pretty effective, assuming there was anything there. And uh, that was it for the artillery. I hope uh, you understand now how it works. Uh, of course, if you're playing a mission which has another artillery system, I can't really tell you how it works because there are so many different systems available as mod and script that. Uh, uh, it's up to you to figure it out if you play with uh, those. So uh, if you have other requests, feel free to ask.